we have a fairly straightforward uh, module for you now, simply working with directories. We introduce a couple of very simple commands that you can use to manipulate directories. The first of these is called mukdir, which is short for make directory. It's a very simple one. It's used to create directories. Its, it's usage is as follows, mukdir followed by the name of the directory that you wish to create. Let's have a look at an example of that. In the course folder, I might wish to create a subdirectory called documents. So I type in mukdir space documents. Again, no message indicates that it, it has succeeded. I can now do an ls and find there is in fact a, a listing for documents, which is the directory. If it's a real directory, then I should be able to cd into it. And I can. And let's do a listing and there's nothing in it. Nothing at all. Well, is that true? What about hidden files? Is there anything in it if I say use the minus A for all option. And this, yes, there really is something in it. A brand new blank empty directory will always contain a dot and a dot dot, and that's all. That's just something for you to know. And now what I can do is I can say copy a file from the parent directory. So in the parent directory there would be something called say user.list and I can copy that into dot. Thus, I'm taking advantage of both the dot dot and the dot shorthands in the one command, which will copy a file from the parent directory into the current directory. And now if I do an ls, I'll find there is, in fact, one file. OK, let's see if there are any other commands we can use. We also have the ability to remove directories or delete directories using the rmdir that works in almost exactly the same way. Let's have a look at that. Now, in order to remove this particular directory, I need to be in its parent directory. So I do cd to the parent directory, and then I do an rmdir of documents. Documents. Directory not empty, and thus it cannot be removed. I can only remove directories that have no files in them. That is one of the limitations on the rmdir command. So then I would simply cd into that particular directory and then I would remove the file like that. Or I could, if there were a bunch of files, I could say rm space star or asterisk and then I cd back up again and now I do rm documents. Uh, excuse me, that was my mistake. RMDIR documents and this time it is removed and I now I do a listing I'm sorry an LS listing and you can see that documents has gone so again it's important to note that you can only delete a directory using RMDIR if the directory is empty it can't even contain hidden files you have to remove them too and removing them is harder if you want to remove a directory and all the files and subdirectories within that directory all in one go without those CDing in and CDing out then you can use rm-r you'd use it as follows rm-r space directory name and that will get rid of everything now that's a very powerful command but as I mentioned before it's also very dangerous so please use that with caution anyway so that's how to remove directories Finally, uh, directories can be renamed and moved using the regular MV command.